Hi everyone, I'm Adam from Union Hall Church in Manchester and I'm here in Union Hall's little garden and I don't know if you can see next to me here but sadly some of our plants have been suffering a little bit during the lockdown. They've been thirsty and I've been trying a little bit this week to water them in the hope to keep them alive although this one might be a bit of a, a lost cause I think. Uh, of course we've got to keep watering our plants haven't we because even if we watered them once they will be thirsty again won't they? And this Sunday in our service, we're going to be thinking a little bit about this whole subject of thirst. In John 4, Jesus is speaking with a woman at a well, and he offers her something pretty remarkable. He offers her water that won't leave her thirsty again. He offers her something that he calls living water, something that he says is going to become a well inside of a person and that's going to spring up to eternal life. He offers us something that truly quenches our thirst in this lasting way. It's been said that all of us are, are looking for something, thirsty for something that's going to satisfy us. And we find people looking in different places. Uh, some people look to their uh, careers for that next promotion that they think will satisfy them. Uh, some people look to their, their family lives Others look to lots of stuff, possessions, uh, money uh, for satisfaction. Uh, very common these days is people look to experiences, don't they? They want the latest thrill. They want to travel the world and get satisfaction that way. For the woman that Jesus meets in John 4, uh, her big hope seems to be to find meaning in relationships. Uh, she's been through several husbands, uh, we're told, and yet she still uh, finds herself unsatisfied. Perhaps she's forever looking for that elusive Mr. Right. But the truth is that all of these things, whatever it is, whether it's relationships, stuff, achievements, they might quench our thirst for a little while. But they always leave us wanting. We're always coming back for the next thing, the next thing that we think will quench our thirst. But Jesus in this passage offers us something different. He offers us living water something that truly satisfies he offers us something eternal a real hope something that's that's not affected by all the outward circumstances around us that may be during all of these problems in our world right now you have had a little bit of a chance to stop and think what is life all about what is it that you really want out of life when so much of, of what we enjoy has been uh, taken away from us in this time, where can we go for real meaning and real satisfaction? Well, Jesus tells us that it's him. He is the one that we need to go to. He is the one that can satisfy. He is the one that's worth living for. If you want to know more about this Jesus, please do get in touch with us via our, our website or our, our Facebook. Uh, email us. We'd love to talk to you more about this Jesus that is worth living for. Well, why not join us for this coming Sunday service? You can join us either on our Zoom meeting or check out our YouTube channel, Union Hall, as we meet together to consider this passage and this real satisfaction that Jesus brings. We'd love to see you there if you're able.